What's poppin' everybody? Getting some late night drilling in. Having a hard time sleeping. So I'm gonna show you the drill I do on this bot. And you think, oh, it's a bot, it ain't that useful. Well, I'm gonna set my saber attack to three so I can use all three styles still. And I'm going to set my Saber Defense to 1, so I don't have the opportunity to parry as many. And I'm going to set my Jump to uh, 1, so I can't jump away as far. And it resembles the uh, Force Disabled setting in base that we used to do. Uh, everybody's AFK on the server. We got Ice, we got Rubber Duck, and we got a Padawan. Padawan is the default name for people in JK2 who don't pick a name. And uh, it's me, Junkies. Junkies is the bot that I'm going to use. And I got Santa hanging out somewhere so that it doesn't draw the bot. So I'll show you guys the drill. Yeah, it's pretty tough. I had it going in a in a demo the other night with uh, Reborn. I'll show you how I do it. See, that bot just melted me to 29. I can't even carry it. I have 4 HP. Let's the volume down a little bit. Try to relax. <laughs> yeah, so that's only one kill. My record is 12, and uh, there's a one shot with two red overheads. The idea is to use spacing effectively because it'll chase and it'll kick, and I'm not allowed to kick back because that's a part of the drill. This one's pretty effective too. See, can't parry. You just have to be smart with spacing. He's already melted half my HP. And it takes me a second to get in the rhythm of this, which also means to tell me that I've slacked off on spacing a little bit. Because I should be able to no problem take this on, but because I'm tired and whatever, excuse A, B, C, D, E, F, G, not able to get that spacing as effectively as I usually do. Um, I try to go for three every time. Seven, I consider to be really good, but sometimes I just figure it out, and uh, I'm getting a lot of one-shot reds, like five in a row, and then I'll get like super high. See right there, if my aim was better, I would have gotten it. So that's a that's a fatigue problem. It also does take a little bit of concentration, so casting is it's a little hard. So that's uh, four in a row, is it? Yeah, four. There's another one shot, so that would be five. I'm going to do that same combo again. I also am laying down right now, and when I do that, um, my mouse pad on my little workstation is not as big. So I have to, uh, I can't rely on drags as much, which is good. I think that adds to the exercise a little bit. Um, and I also usually do this drill without any sound um, because I don't want to have to say, oh, the bot is low because I can hear the pain sound when they're below 25 HP and their character makes a different sound um, at the 25 HP intervals below 100. So 175 has its own pain sound, 75 to 50 has a pain sound, uh, 50 to 25 has a pain sound, and uh, wow, nice kick, and then uh, 25 to 0 has a pain sound, oh, nice red, this thing chases me with 100% accuracy on the overhead, it's like a little bit of a miso drill, and uh, miso is the one who developed the bot to be this way, so major props to him, that's three, so that's my baseline target amount, and I think we're going to get up to 25 and then call it a night. Um, I really shouldn't be up right now. i got to get up for Christmas breakfast, but I uh, uh, can't really sleep, so I'm trying to burn off some mental energy. Got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, ah! Sometimes you just can't get out of there. Lunge to clean up. I don't. I don't usually count that one. If they're there's low HP and I'm fresh start. There it is. Now I'm getting the hang of using the red. But you know what? If I came in with a player, my red was that sloppy and lacking aim to that extent. 
Whoop! Nice dodge. That's what I look for. That's the gr that's the good way to use that drill is you get your spacing that way. And if you're not careful, that bot will punish you. Yep. I really like the kick. I, I hate- Oh, shit! I got stuck. If you're not careful, that bot will kick you. You gotta jump away in time. Make sure you got your good spacing. Yep, and I don't have parry, so I have to rely solely on spacing and jumping out of the way and avoiding. 25 is too low. I'm gonna go for 50. There we go. That's a two-shotter. That's pretty good red drag. I'm gonna see if I can get in blue. That's a really tough exercise. You have to lunge if you're using blue. Unless you have defense three, it's gonna eat you up. Look at that. I can barely parry that. That was very challenging. Um, yellow's pretty tough too. You gotta try to catch him in an overhead, and that's really hard to do. He can pull blue out, he can pull uh, red out. Doesn't usually use yellow, sometimes. Whew. Oh my! Yep. That active window is murder. You have to trade on that. And besides, it's a mod as well, so the FPS is a little bit lower. And when the server FPS is a little bit lower, um, the tick rate for hits is going to be lower. So it means drags aren't going to be that brutal. And that would favor me in this exercise. Ah, no. Misclick. Misclick. I'm so tired. Oh my goodness. <sighs> he even says, like, GG easy in chat. It's pretty funny. Oh, shit! Nice aim, dude. Yeah. He killed me twice in a row. I usually try to avoid that. That's like a 10 push-up kind of thing. That's like missing a layup. That's what that's like. A bot should not be able to kill you twice in a row, guys. That was a good yellow drag. Get the hang of it. It's super vulnerable to that because it doesn't know when to stop moving forward, so it'll, it'll run right into your red. Oh, we got duck. See how many I can get with just that red. It's a boring way to use the drill. If you want to stack your kills up, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can squeeze one more with. Uh... Oh, I need that aim, boy. That blue overhead will chase. Darn. Okay. Drill done. Uh, aim punish junkies. Wake up, duck! I love that skin. Uh, LM Richter made it for him. And he turned that skin around. He got the concept at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon my time. He pumped that out by like 4 o'clock. That boy worked quickly. And it's like a literal rubber duck. And it's got the quack sounds and everything. And its eyes are like cross-eyed and super funny. I love it. That's funny, man. Okay, we're going to wait for duck. 
Let me know in chat when you back. Um, so we're just gonna keep going. Not counting that one. Oof. Eight health. Can I get one more, guys? Do you think so? Y'all believe in me? Wow. I did it with overhead straight on challenge, too. How about that? Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, that should have cleaned up. If that was base, that would have got. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh. That's bad. Got caught up. It's not a bad trade. Oh, I lagged. I'm surprised at how little I've lagged when I've been recording. I've been fortunate about that. Oh, wow. Deflected. Woo. Clean. Stole that from you, Zeph. Let's see if I can use the Zeph mood. Wow, that was actually pretty effective. All I had to do was channel Zeph. <laughs> yep, there's Zeph spacing. Yep, yep. Except he doesn't go triple. He usually just stays double. Except he doesn't turn around sloppy like that. He actually keeps his mouse on his target. him over here to get him away from Duck, because Duck is drawing the spawn. I'm gonna am slug Duck. That way it takes Duck away from the melee. Okay, turtling up on this bot does not work if you don't have Saber 3. You need that Saber Defense 3 um, in order to fight that off. Man, I haven't done this for a couple nights. It shows. Over here, what the fuck are you doing? Get over here! Yeah, let's let's stress him out with a sweep. When I say stress him out, I just mean get up in his business and try to fluster him as though he was a player who couldn't handle it. See my keystrokes? Can you see the buttons I'm pressing? In the bottom right corner. Boop. Boop. Yep. Okay, he's in blue. I should be able to murder that. Nope. All he needed was one one hit. One hit, and he had the favorable parry because he had the saber defense three. Yep. Oh shit, that was a deflect that I was not expecting. Deflect right on the button. I'm gonna try the uh, blobfish aerial. <laughs> you just kick it away. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Drill that every now and then. It's kind of cheap on the bot. It just runs forward, so it's like, look, I can just. That's too easy. I don't know who this is. Begin. I think it's Impy. 
based on the ping? If so, I need to up my saber defense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up so I can actually focus. Oop. Working on that spacing. Jump. Oh, I was expecting to jump right there. Expecting to jump right there too. Yeah, if I had the defense that could have I could have parried that. Wait, should I just try to keep Oh nice one. Okay, I'm gonna go up to save the defense three. Keep J1, because I want to resemble base. And then let's go to base form. Out of UI training mode. Even trade. Bad. Terrible. Hmm. I mean, it kind of looks like empty style, but at the same time, it totally doesn't, unless he's changing stuff up. Yeah, I don't believe that. He also fights a little bit like a like a calmer version of this player, Alex. an easy lunge setup. Don't want to be vulnerable for that. Ah, uh, I thought I had it. That was good. Okay, I need to actually be quiet. He's really good. See if I can pull off a blob red to start. Too high. I can't do a blob. I'm trying. Oh no. That was stupid. That was my dumbest thing against him yet. Okay. God, I hate 100, 100 HP. It just ruins my planning. That's why I almost prefer to play with no sound in the regular server. Because I don't get fixated on the HP planning. I don't oh yep there <laughs> I was waiting for it and when it came I didn't do anything about it there it is right there I was waiting to punish I'm actually playing pretty subpar right now but I also know he's got more techs in the bag he's not using I think we're it seems like we're just two okay players that are burning off the midnight oil right now Wow, I thought I had a third stun lock. Yeah, I think it is empty. See, that's an easy counter to an aerial. You can counter aerial red, honestly, with just about anything. The real power in it is it has to be sudden and you have to get the angle. And part of that is luck. And part of it can't even be put into words. Like, it's just intuition. Oh. Try to come through with a lunge. 
Don't be predictable. That's a red you can believe. Should have got that. Come through. Oh, he had that too. We're both making mistakes. Bad lunge, I should have punished. This is an error ridden fight by both of us. More so me. He's really good. He hits it right on the button. Try to parry aerial with side yellow. I like to try that occasionally. I'm gonna come in with a diagonal. I saw Reef and I got inspired. Got the nice little drag. Yep. For once in my life, I got a good lunch. Lunch was actually a big weakness of mine. Um, that's why a player named Blaze is the hardest guy for me to fight right now. Y'all haven't seen me fight him, but his lunge is something special. He can just pull it all out of the bag on a moment's notice. Oh! Oh, oh come on. I can't be goofing around like that. I know he's better than that. He's just goofing around. Begin. I was trying to Zeph sweep, but I couldn't do it. That is such a hard thing to just do right by itself. Don't know how he does it. A lot of vegetables and plenty of juice. That's probably how. Right, guys? Oh, that could have been sweet! with red. Luckily, I turned it around. Nice. Yeah, he's really good. I'm not exactly in fighting shape right now. I hate playing while I'm just trying to get to sleep. I don't know what he means by that. Use a basketball term check. It just means you take the take the ball up at the top of the key, and uh, you pass it in since you got possession. So he knows who I am. I got lucky. I know he can play a lot better than this, so can I. Even so, I think uh, if we were using Dragon Ball terms, his base power is a lot bigger than mine. I have to... I use all sorts of little competitive tricks and mental prep in order to... in order to be competitive, and he's somebody who can just pull it out of the bag right away. Yeah, just lazy red. He would never do that in a match. He's, his red is insanely sharp in matches. Like, 
you might not have saw it in the reefer versus impact but he pulls out a red and it's it's nice Whoop. Can't do that every single time to counter red. It's too predictable. I gotta, tr I gotta experiment and get more in my bag. Wow, that must have been flaw. excuses right now guys let's try this way got a nice oh it's hard to punish that because of the clusterfuck hitbox of dfa blob i'm determined there it is. I'm just glad that I did it. <laughs> I was actually just trying to do the keystrokes for it. <laughs> oh, that could have been sick. I almost got it there, Blob. You proud of me? Under yellow or red. Usually don't see that. Bad lunge. I'm f dude. I'm worst lunger LA or worst lunger NA. That's a title I could have. I just it was a pride thing for so many years where I just didn't want to use lunge because I thought it was just like meta and OP. And uh, it's just like. I had to get over that because people use the whole bag now. It's not like the old days. Zeph and I talked about this where it's like he comes from a time where that was heavily stigmatized. Certain texts. Yeah, he should have poked me there. Worst lunger, L uh, worst lunger NA. Push through. Ooh. Try to parry challenge a little bit more. He's trying to outdo it with blue. I appreciate that exercise. It's uh, if you got a lot of HP to trade, you can do it. It's an easy way to finish off somebody. Yeah, you can't do that forever, dude. You gotta switch. There it is. Now he's switching back into another pattern. That was a mistake. 
Pretty sure I'm making myself worse by playing right now, but it's whatever. Sometimes, sometimes you have to take one step backward um, to get good matches in with a player late at night. Oh, oh! That would have made myself open for a lunge right there. That's a tie on red. What? I actually failed to counter the uh, overhead. That's my favorite counter. And I failed! Oh. Nice. Almost. That was a functional DFA. Like, there wasn't an easy way for me to counter that. There it is. We got one. Because he had a dishonest, uh, dishonest red. It's kind of lazy. Begin. When I say honest red, I mean like you honestly try to hit the guy. A lot of people make the mistake of using red like they use yellow. And it's, you really can't do that. You have to get spacing right with red. It's completely different. Uh, it's a different ballpark. Pulling up a red trip up close. Okay, I don't know what to do when I get hits like right on the button like that and it doesn't register, like, I feel like that's a miscarriage of justice. Or maybe it does do health and I don't see the tick, because I'm tired. Whatever. Oop. Delay. Red delays are pretty cool. That's a... Red delays are honestly like an S tier. Part of rank of all the techs, that would be S tier. On the button. That was a 100 plus to zero. I think Duck's back. God, it'd be a lot of fun to play MPM base, but I need the energy for it. If we did base right now, me laying down, and being in a position like I am now, he would, uh, he would kill me like 10-0. should have been punished. Ooh. I hate that J3 gets activated in duels on this server. That's a big complaint. Miso is to blame for that. I'm just kidding. Yep. That was a good backflip by me. Right on the button. Missed the lunge. Pull through with the stagger step. Went aggro for a minute there, and then he tries to back me off with the lunge. So that's where my spacing training actually comes in handy. Tiger step with red. <laughs> I never do stagger step with red. <laughs> it's too late for duels this good. It's giving me energy. It's not putting me to sleep. <laughs> oh no. Yep. I was expecting him to come through on that. Yeah. Oh 
on the button. And again, doesn't register. Gotta love that, dude. Oh yeah, I got the chase. Oh. Good in between. I'm happy with some of these hits that are landing. I'm trying a whole bunch of different stuff and it's a good this is a good little test testing ground right now. He's an excellent player to He has a really just linear like Zeph, he just has a linear and well executed style. Like it's not that fancy. Though he does have fancy moves in the bag, he just stays linear and simple, and he just executes so well. Like, his aim is just fantastic. He has these, like, um, he has excellent lunge. Yeah, he, I keep nailing him on the retreat. I'm trying to wonder if, like, a standing, uh, a standing sweep would be more favorable because we saw him get beat up by the standing sweep. I'm not going to punish that. That's a... he should not have landed that. That was also kind of a dishonest red. Yeah. When somebody's just backflipping and they can't even see you and don't even like look at what you're doing, it's just... This just means they're probably not taking it too seriously. That's all right. Whoop. That's 10. I didn't even mean to do that, but ironically enough, it catches people off guard. So I'm just gonna take credit for it. <laughs> like if he asked, I'd just be like, yeah, I meant to do that. That was where actually the elevation helped me. Ooh, he, he tried to. He's messing around with stuff too. He just tried to delay into a backflip. Unfortunately, as we see so many times, it's just too easy to counter. Tied up. Open reds. Well, like, you know, there's like an open field tackle in football. But I think open field reds are a thing. Like, just trying to snipe at it. to do that. that was aim bully. He knew I was just gonna do an open red, right? And just he was just like, okay dude, you're too predictable and just nailed me. Giggity. Nice bully. I thought, he was gonna, I thought he was gonna do a DFA. I see him and Richter both like unironically use the DFA in the server. I think a part of it is ironic, but then a part of it is like unironic because if you have like 100 100 health, then you have the wherewithal to try stupid shit like DFAs and like not get too punished for it. My counters of that are so boring. Like, a player of my skill should be able to come up with better ways to counter red right than just yellow overhead and sweep. Like, there's more ways to counter it than just that. 
And the more ways that I practice, the more ways that I'll be able to pull it out in the game. So overhead is also a counter if you come late. Stupid. Um, oh. Yeah. I think this is just one of those duels where I got the direction. I think we're both just zoning. <laughs> he flashed red and then just went, uh, went blue. He's doing it again. You bully. You a bully. Begin. This is Duck. Duck, when he first comes in, he comes with the heat, dude. Duck was being respectful because usually we do a three person rotation if there's three people. So he was saying if he wants in. Looks like he doesn't for now. Now, Duck doesn't lunge, so you know what that means? That means I can get in close and he's not going to have an answer. However, low sweeps can do the job just as well. And crouching, he actually didn't do sweeps. I encouraged him to do crouching sweeps, and now, uh, now he does it with some efficacy, like right there. Nice. I can't, I have a really bad habit of, if it's not like a top leap player, then I kind of take it for granted, and I don't think. But Duck has in, been improving, and it's a big mistake to just automatically think that I'm just going to win every time. That's just... It doesn't work like that. Begin. <sighs> it's like 20 duels so far. I didn't expect for this to last so long, guys. Oop. Oop. Wow, that was like a 15 to 75 trade. <laughs> I got ripped off, guys. Lunch. Watch me right there. I'm like hyper cut. Oh! Thanks for going easy. Dishonest red. There's good red. Diagonal that I usually don't pull out. Yeah, I think everybody's just tired and zoning out. I think for Duck, it's pretty late. I think Duck's catching on to my bully parry. I keep making keystroke errors. <laughs> oh no. He's just gonna keep doing it. Unfortunately, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm glad to see him use those crouch and sweeps. I like seeing players evolve. 
That was an okay flash for lunge. I mean, it was away, so it was either poor aim or just like, hey, I can do lunges. So maybe a little bit of a dishonest lunge, but still, it's like, if you show that you can do it, then that's gonna inherently build in some spacing. Like, I'm already giving him a little bit more space. I think he was prepping up for that lunge right there. Begin. Again, boring counter. Overhead on the button, gotta love it. You see that red right coming? It's a. Uh, you can get it on the button. That's a, th see. That's a way I like to counter red right. I believe Duck is setting the scoreboard to six nine. Okay, or you're just breaking it, bastard. I didn't build those in to be abused. It's either him doing the lunge or me. Oh my goodness. He messed up the scoreboard. I'm gonna fix it. People are messing with that too much. I, uh, I just, uh, Begin. I just, uh, lock it down. I created a lockdown feature, so if you press a, uh, damn it, duck! <laughs> Get my OCD going, boy. Just kidding. I don't have fucking OCD. I'm just, I'm accused of having autism. Which, let's be honest, that's an insult to autistic people. Ah. Wasn't thinking. I was too busy making jokes. Damn it, Dark. <sighs> this is funny. This is my lockdown function I made. And it causes a brush to appear here, and I can't access the scoreboard anymore. <laughs> if you can't use the scoreboard properly, I'm taking it away. Pretty funny. Begin. I didn't actually, I typed that out in like a sociopath. I didn't actually, uh, I didn't actually uh, laugh. You ever just type lol and just don't laugh? Ha <laughs> ha, lol. Get a trigger to generate. Yeah, it's too easy to read, Duck. I'm sorry, bro. I love you. It's too easy to read right now. Once you see Duck a couple times, um, I think his focus starts to go off. Very 
really mature. Watch this get demonetized because it's being fucking inappropriate. I actually mark all my videos as not for kids because I do swear, and I don't want kids to listen to cuss words. In case it like, one is like, oh, what's this? And then they turn it on and their parents are horrified because they're hearing me dropping F-bombs. Parents later on are just like, fuck Glort. Everybody hates Big Glort. So I think that, and then, jeez, I can't even do it, and I'm like thinking it, there it is, okay? So let's say I'm here, okay, low and fast. I really want to also cast a player named Bartender. Um, he rapidly improved in base. He wasn't much of a challenge, um, because he incorporated an FFA style. And then he adjusted the base, increased his aim, increased his control, and then he just fucking became a monster. He's really good now. Ah, run, run, run. Hide behind the deflect. <laughs> Let's see if I can ultra instinct it. Oh yeah, I'm faster than bullets. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. my favorite move or what? That's annoying. I don't like how often I do that. Simple sweeps. Simple sweeps. I like Jedi Academy because it got me off a stagger step. Like, I'm going to try to do this whole duel without the stagger step. It's actually pretty cool. Like, stagger step slows you down too much, and it's too greedy. This, this is so much cleaner looking without it. Oh. Again, no stagger step. Pure technique. Ooh, yeah, ducky. I like to see that. I want to try to be Zap like this.
begin. He is a parry monster. I actually don't feel confident about pairing him up with Yolo. Yep, he just traded. Turn me around after I just fucking yell at him for turning. So I feel blue. Let's see where he goes. Use it to interrupt. And then punish. Me so red. Me so red. If you just throw out a random tech without them expecting it, like out of nowhere, it's likely to get them. Especially in this casual setting, when you're just getting a yellow motions over and over again. Like, just throw out a random fucking tech, it's probably gonna work. Like, I'm gonna try this, watch. Like, all of a sudden I'm doing like a bunch of d yellow, blue sweeping. Turtle up. It's just because it's unusual, like, you don't expect it and so it's likely to kill somebody. That's the problem with FFA dueling as opposed to base dueling, is it's, it's not as focused so it's easier to zone out and just diminish all of your returns, like, to get into really bad habits, and then when you actually go up for a duel, all those moves you use to just zone out, they don't apply anymore. Ooh. 
and I decided I am gonna try to uh, cast over the tournament tomorrow. Um, we're gonna give this an honest try. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me, Ducky. I'm gonna kill you for that. Or not. Hit me up with the miso red. <laughs> I've never seen that. He says, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Sorry, I'm gonna make a point of you. I'm assuming that's it. Spacing. That's an honest red. Again, an overhead on the button, and because it's a hundred hundred, I don't fucking win. I'm gonna give Ducky the last one. Tired. I'm gonna best spin Christmas. Alright, GG's, I'm out, and good night.